By this point, you should have implemented a full adder using half adders and other logic to allow you to add two uh, single bit inputs along with a carry and to produce a sum and carry bit for the full adder. What we're going to do now is to combine full adders uh, in order to be able to add multi-bit inputs of arbitrary length. And so we'll do that with um, we'll do that with two or three bit inputs. We'll use three bit inputs and then you can expand that to uh, eight bits or, or even larger if you wanted to. So I'm, I'm going to begin with my inputs. We'll start with input pin and we'll make this a three bit input. So we're going to add two three bit numbers. First thing I'm going to want to do is split those two numbers, um, those two three-bit inputs, into their individual bits. So we'll create a splitter, and we will make that a three-bit splitter, three fan outs, and three-bit input. Face it to the east. Copy that and paste it. Now I can address the individual inputs, and I want to add um, the first two inputs, the zeros, together and um, produce an output, the sum and carry. Um, now, interestingly, because I'm adding these first two zeros, there's not a third input. So where the full adder had the two inputs, the A and B, and the carry in, I don't need a carry in for the first um, addition because there's no we're dealing with the first digits there's no possible carry in so I can actually use a half adder um, to add these first two least significant bits together and so uh, we're gonna do that we'll load our previously built half adder um, into the project apologize it's deep in my Google Drive um, and then we'll also load the full adder. And uh, once we've done that, we'll be able to use those chips. So there's my half adder. That's main. We'll use that. Um, we'll put that here, let's say. And I'm going to connect the least significant bit into A and the other least significant bit into A, or excuse me, into B, and I'll have a sum and carry. Now, the sum bit is the uh, value of that first digit. So if I have a 0 and a 0, it's going to give me 0. 0, 1 will give me 1. Um, a 1, 1 will give me a 0. Well, that sum bit is going to be the new least significant bit. So that one's done. The carry is going to move on and be added to the next significant bit, the second bit. Okay, so that's going to come down as the carry in to our full adder. So now I need a full adder to add the second bits. So once again, I'm going to load into my project my full adder now and use one of those. And you want to make sure you've labeled things. So there's my carry in. Okay, so there we go. Um, bit number one, put that down here. Bit number one, into there. And again, I have a, a carry out um, and a sum out. Now the sum is going to be the second digit. And so we will just send that here. The carry will go to the third place and be added to the third digit. And so I need yet another full adder. Send my carry in. Bit 2. And bit 2. The sum will be the most significant bit, the third bit. The carry would carry over to a fourth bit, but there is no fourth bit, so this is this is overflow. Okay, this is called overflow. Um, we can't really do anything with that. We're just going to let it sit. You don't need this. You know, you delete that. But that's the overflow. Um, you know, if we were to add um, beyond a number that took us beyond seven, right, and required a fourth digit, 
that would overflow. Uh, so what do we do with these? Now we want to reverse the splitting and so we're going to get another splitter and we're going to do a three bit each way connect those up and then we want an output pin we want this to be three bit output and then we're going to connect the splitter to the output and now as we poke things we should see that this adds one and one is two hey that's great three plus one if I make this a, a three up here that should be four hey it works um, if I add three plus three that's six four plus two great here I've overflowed right I've got seven plus three is ten um, that's eight plus two, so there's a one overflow here that you can't see, plus this two. And so this doesn't work because we've overflowed the, the register, uh, and that's what happens if you go beyond a register's um, storage capability, right? And so uh, there you go. Um, but this is a, a three-bit adder, and you can extend this idea to create uh, adders of arbitrary size.